guys, welcome to today's video. So today I am finally reviewing and demoing the New Face Trinity that I purchased back in the springtime during the Sephora spring sale. And I know that it took me a really long time to get this review up. And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't get the review up sooner than I did. There were some things that I experienced while using this. And then of course, when I first purchased it, I didn't use it right away. And I really wanted to do my research on this and I really wanted to know exactly how to use it and all the things that you can and can't do while using the microcurrent new face device. So today we're gonna have some fun. If you guys have one yourself, Pick it up, wash your face, let's do it together. I will show you exactly how to do it, especially how I like to do it. You really can't mess up with the new face device. Everybody has different bone structures and everybody has different features that you may want to accentuate and lift compared to some other people. So you can do it however you like. It's all about having fun. So grab your new face, let's get started. But before we get right into it, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, by doing so, you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I do upload videos every single week. So I'm really excited to be finally uploading this video for you guys. This has been a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And I've had some of you message me on Instagram asking, are you gonna be uploading the new face video? Are you still using it? What's going on? And I really do apologize that I have not uploaded this video sooner than I did. But like I said, I really wanted to know my stuff. I wanted to do my own research. I wanted to know exactly how to use this. And I wanna know the pros and cons because I also wanna let you guys know as well. I didn't feel right just filming a video and saying I think this is how you use it and I think this is what it can do for your skin. I don't do videos like that. I really do like to do my research and to be very thorough and in depth with all of you. And I know a lot of you guys see that in my videos. So we're gonna be talking about this guy today. Now I do have the New Face Trinity which comes with the interchangeable heads. So I do have the lip and eye attachment and then you can also purchase separately the LED light attachment which I don't need but if that is something that would interest you then at least you can purchase that down the road if that's what you want. But I was really excited about the lip and eye because you can just go around the delicate areas around your eye, especially around your mouth, and any hard to reach areas on your face. But if you don't want to spend the extra money for the Trinity, which comes with the interchangeable heads, then you can just pick up the new face mini, which looks like this, and you only get the silver spheres. So that one will still be beneficial and it's definitely more affordable than this one. I believe this retails at $479, somewhere around there. It's definitely an investment, but I can tell you guys now that I really like it and I do think that it's worth the money. But of course, we're going to do a full review today and then you guys can base whether this would be worth it or not. Everybody has their own opinions. But I'm all about preventative, and I love that this really helps to lift, to contour, to rejuvenate your skin. So with the new face device, if you are somebody that has a lot of puffiness in your face, especially if you wake up every morning puffy, this is going to help to de-puff your face and it's gonna give you more of a lifted and contoured appearance to your skin. If you have fine lines and wrinkles, this is also gonna help with that as well, especially around the eye area, your forehead, your left, Evans, your nasal labial folds, this will help with that also. You will see instant lifting effects right away. You'll see it in this video. And this is also great to give your skin a brighter appearance to it because the microcurrent is going to be stimulating your facial muscles as well as your neck muscles. So especially if there's muscles in your face that are not being used all the time, this is actually going to stimulate those muscles and it's going to promote better circulation and blood flow. So you're gonna have more of a youthful, brighter appearance to your skin. Now anybody can use this, male, female. You can be in your 80s and 90s and still use this. You can be 20 years old and use this and any skin type can also use it as well. So the at-home new face devices, 
These offer a 335 microamp. So that is the strength of the microcurrent. But there are spas and clinics around the world probably more so in the United States, where estheticians and professionals will use the New Face Pro on their clients. Now the New Face Pro offers a 400 microamp, so it's gonna be stronger, and the higher the number, the more lift and contoured you're gonna see your skin become. You're going to see instant results immediately. But with the at home at 335 microamp, you will still see instant lifting and contoured results, but it's not gonna be as defined as the in office treatments. But you're gonna get better long term benefits with an at home microcurrent at 335. It's better to use a microamp with this number than a higher number. Now, the higher the number, like I said, the more lifted and contoured your skin is going to become immediately, but you don't want to be using anything that is over 600 microamps. I did read that on the New Face website, I believe. And anything that is higher than 600, it's actually going to do the reverse where it's not going to be as beneficial. You're not going to see the lifted and contoured effect on your skin. So it's better to use a device that has a microamp that is 600 or under. And the lip and eye attachment will provide 200 microamps around the eye area as well as the mouth area. Now we always have to be careful on what we apply, especially to our eye area and what we do to that area because the skin is a lot thinner and the muscles around the eye area as well as the mouth are smaller and more delicate. So New Face created an attachment at a 200 microamp to be safe and beneficial around these areas. And this is also going to prevent overstimulation as well. The New Face devices are FDA cleared to be safe to use on the face as well as your neck. Now there were some questions online that I saw when I was researching about this device where people were trying to find out whether they could use this on their decollete, their chest, as well as their breast area. And I wasn't able to find the answer, but finally I found the answer from the co-founder herself, Tara Peterson, and she did say that this this device in particular is not FDA cleared to be used on the chest and the breast area. But if you do want something to use on your body, whether it's your chest, your arms, your legs, wherever, there is a device from New Face called New Face Body, which is definitely safe to use on parts of your body. But this one in particular should only be used for your face and your neck. Now just before I start using this, I do want to let you know that if you are somebody that gets Botox and fillers done, this will not affect it at all. And I did hear that from Tara Peterson because someone did ask her and she did say, listen, this is not going to affect any of the fillers and Botox that you have on your face. It won't make your face look all wonky. It just won't affect it at all. Now she did say that if you decide to go to the clinic today, let's just say, and you get Botox and fillers done, she does recommend to wait at least seven days before going back in with your new face device just to allow your Botox and your fillers to absorb and to settle into your skin. Now I've had a few people ask me if I've ever had Botox or fillers done and I have not. I have never received any of these treatments before. I am not against it. I just don't feel like I need it right now, but I'm definitely open-minded for the near future. But just so you know, this will not affect Botox or fillers. So now let's have some fun and let's put this to action. So if you have a new face mini or a trinity, go and grab it and let's do it together. Now if this is a new device and you're just picking this up for the first time, New Face does suggest to use this five times a week for the first 90 days and then after that you can just use it a couple of times a week for maintenance and prevention. Now when you use this you definitely want to make sure that you have a clean face. You don't want to have anything on it and you also don't want to be using an oil-based cleanser because these oil-based cleansers 
cleansers will leave a film on your skin and the microcurrent may not be able to penetrate into your skin and muscles. So it's best to use a cleanser that does not have oil in it and I just use my CeraVe foaming cleanser and that seems to be really good. So just don't use an oil based cleanser. You also want to make sure that you're using this either in the morning or in the evening. You only need to use this once in a day and I prefer to use this in the morning because I'm going to be out and about. I'm going to be filming for you guys so I want to make sure that my skin is lifted and contoured. If you use this in the evening, no one's going to be able to see your nicely contoured and lifted face. But of course, if that's the only time that you can use it, then it's better than nothing. But it really is good to use this in the morning or before an event or a party or now that we're coming up to the holiday season, it'll be nice to use before you see your family and whatnot. So you can do whatever you want. Now, you want to make sure that you're using a gel to start off with. A gel is very crucial for this device to work because the microcurrent is going to go through the gel. If you don't use a gel and you just use a bare face, you're definitely going to feel sensation and it's not going to feel very good. It's definitely intense. So you want the gel. Now, there are some people that say you don't need the new face gel. You can use aloe vera. You can use a different type of gel. That might be the case case, but for me personally, i rather just use the gel that is designed for the device so that I know these two pair well together and that the microcurrent is going to penetrate into my skin and my muscles. But of course, you can do whatever you like. So I do like to start with my neck first and I do like to start with half of my face and then once this is all done, then I move to the other side of my face. And I only apply the gel where I'm currently working because if you apply the gel everywhere, then by the time you get up to here, the gel is going to be all dried up and it's very wasteful. So only apply the gel to where you're currently working. So I am going to start with my neck and you do want to put a mask-like amount on the surface of your skin. So you don't wanna rub it in and massage it all in where it's absorbed. You do wanna have a decent heavy layer on so that the microcurrent can of course go through it and it'll be better for gliding across the skin. So you never wanna go down with the device. You always wanna go up or out. So now that I have the gel there, I'm gonna wipe my hands off here. And then you want to turn your device on and I have it on the highest setting. So there's a minus and a plus. I plus it up to the highest setting and then it's going to beep. I'm going to wait for that beep and now I'm going to start. So I like to start low and work out. You go slow and once you hear that beep, you want to move on to the next section. And if you get to the side before the beep, just hold it there. So you want to do this at least three times for each section. So this can be time consuming, but you really only need to do this for 20 minutes, like for your whole face and neck. You don't need to do any longer than that. So I usually like to have music playing in the background and I like just to, you know, have a nice relaxing time and enjoy it because it's really nice and rejuvenating. I do like this treatment. So once I do that, I'm now going to go upwards with it. And then hold it underneath the jawbone. Just move over a little bit more. And then a little bit more back here. Now you want to make sure that both of the silver spheres are on your skin. 
You don't want to just have one of them on the skin and the other one up in the air because the current is not going to work. You need both of these spheres to be flush on your skin for the current to actually work and go in between the spheres. I did that mistake when I first started to use this and I don't know what I was thinking but again after I used it a few times I'm like you know what I need to do my research I really need to learn how to do this so both spheres have to be on the skin okay so that's three times so then I like to turn off the device. You don't need to, but I like to do it. Now at this point, you can just massage the rest of that gel into your skin, which I'm just gonna do right now, or you can wipe it off. Now, you can leave this gel on and then go and put all of your other skincare products on top, like your vitamin C and everything, but I really do like to rinse this gel off because I think that applying a vitamin C on top of this, I don't know, I don't like the way that my skincare products apply on top of the gel, so I'd rather just wash it off once I'm all done and then go in with my skincare routine afterwards. So now that my neck is done, I'm now gonna put the gel all over my cheek, under my eye, and the jawline. All right, just like that. And I want to let you know as well that if you are using this device and you feel a sensation or your muscles are twitching, you shouldn't feel any of that. This is painless. You shouldn't feel any type of sensation or twitching. Now, Tara Peterson did say that if you experience twitching, it means that your muscles are dehydrated. Stop using the device, drink some water, get yourself hydrated, and then use the device the next day. If you experience a sensation and it's not very comfortable, add more gel. So it's either you're dehydrated or you need to add more gel. I'm turning it back on. So I like to start on my lower half here. And then just go right underneath that orbital bone and out. Hold it there, wait for the beat, and then go back down here. And you wanna go slow. Once this is done, you're then going to want to focus on lifting the cheekbone. So you're going to hold and press up. Move it over, hold and press up. And repeat that. Now this is what I like to do, but of course, you guys can do whatever you want. You know your structure of your face the best. You know where you would like to lift. So go by with what you like to see with your face and what you want to achieve. So once you do that, then you wanna focus on the nasal labial folds. So you wanna hold and push up. And you can even hold it there for two beeps if you want. And then I like to move it down a little bit. And repeat that a few times. And we'll do it one more time.
And if you want, you can do this again. So it's totally up to you. I'll just do two more. Because this is really where you're going to see the lift. All right, so once that is done, I like to turn off my device and then start working on my forehead. So then I'm gonna put the gel on half of my forehead, temples, even the eyebrows. Because hair is a conductor. So if you don't put enough gel on your eyebrow area, or closest to your hairline, you may feel a sensation. So men can use this device as well, like I said, and it's probably best to shave the area before using the new face, but if you do have a beard or facial hair, then just apply more gel in these areas because like I said, hair is a conductor and you definitely will feel a sensation if you don't have enough gel. So once I do that, of course, we're going to turn the device on again and I'm going to start just above the eyebrow and work up. And the third one should be on your outer temple area. So you want to have light to medium pressure when you glide this across your skin. You don't need to push too hard. I will let you know as well another reason why I didn't do my review sooner because if you have any type of breakouts, acne, or open skin where you've had a cut, or your pimples are healing, whatever the case may be, I find that it doesn't matter how much gel you put in these areas, you are still going to feel that sensation on your skin. And it's very uncomfortable, especially when you have a lot of pimples going on. And when I first started to use this, I had breakouts on my neck, I had breakouts on my jawline, and it was so uncomfortable to use this and glide the device across these areas. That's why I didn't use this device initially because I wanted my face to clear up before using it. So if you are somebody with problematic skin and you do have a lot of breakouts, just know that when using this device, you most likely will feel a sensation. So now that I've done my forehead, as you can see, I can see already that everything is lifted. Now this side of my face is always more lifted than this side. I always feel like my eyebrow is a little bit higher on this side than my left hand side. It's always been this way, but now that I'm using the new face, I feel like it's really lifted. So I really try and focus that when I'm doing this side of my face, I'm really focusing on my eyebrow area so that I can lift it to balance each side out. But I can already see a difference. So now I'm going to change out the spheres and I'm going to put the lip and eye attachment on now. So with the new face trinity, there is a button on the back. Just press it to release the spheres and then you're just going to press the button again and pop the other attachment on. So I am going to do the eye area first. So I'm going to put more gel because it's all dried up and go all the way around. You always want to start from the outer of the eye and go in because you're working in the direction of the eye muscle. So it's really important to really know how the muscles of the face look and go in that direction. So what I did when I first started using this, I went on Google and I looked up 
the facial muscles and I was able to really study how the muscles are situated and how it all looks so when I go in with my new face then I know exactly the direction to place the spheres. So I do like to do this a few times around the eye area. I do more than three times because I really want to focus around this area. This is also safe to go right underneath your lash line as well. So once you do that, you're going to work on top, so outer to the in. Make sure both prongs are on the skin so the current works. Now I am going to do my other side of my face, but I'm not going to walk you through it like I just did now because I think this video is already super long. <laughs> so I am going to do the other side, but I'm going to speed it up so that I'm not dragging you guys through a really long video. Because what I'm doing here, I will be doing exactly on the other side. Now I don't do the eyelid, but I go right in the crease. And then once you do this, then you can just hold for a couple of beeps in your problematic areas to really focus on the crow's feet. And like I said, if you have puffy under eyes and you wake up like that, this is really going to depuff it. I'm telling you right now, it works for me every time. And I'll just do one more just to speed up the video here. And I'm just going to put more gel around the mouth area. You don't need to go on the lips. Because I'm not going to be touching my lips with this. Okay, so with the upper lip, you always want to push upward. But when we go on the lower lip, you just want to hold it. You don't want to drag down and you don't want to push up when we're focusing on the lower lip. So I'm going to look really funny here. but you want to push up. To really lift it. I might hold it for another beat. So it is a little bit time consuming, but when you get the hang of it, it becomes really quick when you know what you're doing. And of course, I'll do this other side of the lip when I do the other side of the face. So then you can even hold it around your nasal labial folds with this as well if you really wanted to. So remember, this is putting 200 microamps into the delicate area versus 335. So with the lower, you just want to hold it. Okay. 
Okay, and I'll do one more. And then I forgot to tell you guys about the 11s. Okay. So when we're focusing on the 11s, I don't have 11s. But if you do, it's because over the years with you making facial expressions, your muscles basically stayed in one place. So instead of going upward with the prongs, you want to actually go outward and over your brow. You want to stretch out those 11s back outward. So I'll show you right now. So you're going to want to go like this and go over the brow bone. and stretch it right out. I don't even know if you can see that the way I'm holding this. So that's typically what you would do. So you really don't wanna go up, you just wanna go out to the right or out to the left, and stretch it out. So that's how you would treat your 11s if you had it. So I am done now with this side of the face and you could go a little bit longer if you wanted to if there's certain sections of your face that you really want to focus and target but I just want to show you what I typically do when I do my face and as you can see it definitely looks more contoured and lifted. I can tell that this is definitely more lifted. Everything just looks so much more youthful and pulls up. So now I'm going to work on this side of the face. Like I said, I'm going to speed it up so that I'm not dragging you guys through another lengthy side. So I'm going to get right into it right now. So I just finished the left hand side of my face so now I've done both sides and I can already see a difference. My face definitely looks more lifted and more contoured and it does have a brighter appearance to it as well because the microcurrent has stimulated my muscles which is promoting blood flow and circulation and I always see an improvement with my skin whenever I use the new face. Now I don't use it every day but I do use it probably four times a week. I'm really trying to be more consistent with it. But like I said, if I do have some breakouts going on and they're fresh breakouts and they're starting to heal, this device will definitely create some sensation in those areas. So my skin is starting to calm down a little bit and I'm not seeing as many breakouts right now. Knock on wood, but I really do think that this is worth the money and if you are consistent with it, you're going to see long-term benefits with your skin, not only with lifting and contouring, but with fine lines and wrinkles and also this is going to give your skin a plumper look as well and who doesn't like that? I know I do. So whether you go with the New Face Trinity or with the New Face Mini, you can't go wrong with either one. They're both really great and I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that I was in depth and I was thorough with it. I know this video is pretty lengthy. I'm hoping by the time I edit this video, I can really condense it a little bit more, but I think it's really good to have a lengthier video and to really explain how to use it. So thank you so much for watching. I honestly really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.